Recently, I've been noticing people sharing memes from a Facebook page called Skeptical Kitten, so I checked it out. Let's see. You have the requisite cat memes pilfered from other sources, but why is it called Skeptical Kitten? Oh wait, here's a celestial long cat accompanying some pseudo-profundity from Carl Sagan, who's kind of the spiritual godfather of modern self-proclaimed skeptics. Oh, and here's a cat frozen in terror above a bathtub, which is totally me avoiding religion, because religion poisons everything, am I right? Someone's holding a bumper sticker that says, My God is bigger than your government, and the caption reads, This is how terrorism starts. Of course, it's better to start with a totalitarian premise that the government is God, and that the government determines what our rights are, and what is right and wrong. I mean, what could possibly go wrong if the government is the ultimate unassailable authority? Here's something posted in the aftermath of the Sutherland Springs church shooting. Your thoughts and prayers are useless. What a thoughtful reassurance from a funny cat page in a time of grieving. After all, when 26 Christians are shot and killed by an atheist who frequently hectored Christians on Facebook, it is incumbent upon other atheists to hector Christians on Facebook who are praying in response to a tragedy created by one of their fellow atheists. Hmm, using a meme graphic page to furtively advance atheist propaganda? Why, I'd be damned if this didn't bear the sweaty, pudgy fingerprints of one... Dan Broadbent! Yes, Dan Broadbent, the proprietor of the A Science Enthusiast page, which similarly exploits the name of science in his attempts to try to propagandize people into atheism. The same Dan Broadbent who offered to have a live discussion with me, bitched out on the offer, and then filed a fraudulent DMCA trying to remove from YouTube the video where I refuted everything he said about me in my absence. And here he is, using funny cats to try to propagandize people into atheism, because as we all know, you can't sell anything in 2017 without funny cats. It used to be sex cells, but ever since they started putting soy in our diets, it's funny cats. So please support me in exposing these sleazy, cowardly machinations of the Dan Broadbents of the world by liking and sharing this video, and please visit the Deflating Atheism Facebook and Patreon pages, as well as the totally necessary Deflating Atheism Instagram page. Thank you and may God bless. Thank <laughs> you.